Hello, and welcome to a new subscription box, at least, I think. Um, I'm not too sure. This has shown up. Now, I have subscribed to a subscription box called the Otaku Box. Uh, so I think this is what it is. You, you'll be able to tell in the description below. Anyway, if it is what I think it is, it's kind of like a anime goods related, uh, you know, mystery box every month. So I'm going to rip open this uh, bag and hopefully inside the box will say what it is. Hey, what do you know, it is indeed the Otaku Box, which I'm glad because uh, otherwise a large box showing up at my house uninvited is a little bit concerning. So yeah, um, not much actually going on with the box. Um, you've just got the fairly plain thing. The sides are plain and the bottom's plain. So yeah, this is... Um, I'll leave a link to the website below. I um, watched uh, some other videos of this, just while kind of browsing for subscription box things. And I thought, hey, you know what, let's give this a try for probably two months. I'm uh, going to see how it goes, and you know, we'll go from there. From the videos I saw, it's kind of interesting stuff. I don't know how much uh, I'm going to like it or whatever. The cool thing is, you get a vote every month, um, like, of your favourite anime and stuff like that. And I think it's kind of a community vote, so, you know, I could vote for, say, Naruto and Dragon Ball, but I may not care that. Anyway, um... So I don't think there's any, like, uh, leaflets or anything that come with it. So I'm just going to be pulling stuff out. We'll take a look at it. Now, slight warning, actually, just before I start. Um, some of the artwork, there was a hentai option, or an etchy option, rather, if I wanted nudity or not. Now, I voted not for because, you know, I mean, I, I'm fine with nudity and stuff, but it's for the stuff that comes on the T-shirt and the poster. And I don't... I can't think of a, you know, of a time where I'd wear a t-shirt with a naked anime girl on it. Uh, you know, uh, same for a poster. At least if it's like risky, but they've got clothes on, it's slightly more... You know, you, you can wear it in more uh, occasions. Anyway, I feel... Oh, okay, so I feel a poster uh, here. Now, just in case there has been a mix-up, or this is too risky for YouTube, uh, I will edit this out. So, I'm going to do it in silence for a second, and then we'll go from there. Okay, never mind. Uh, that's actually just very nice. So, this is actually the one I voted for as well. Um, there are two or three pieces of artwork, I can't remember. So, this, uh, the rest is just like a basic... So, this is a wall scroll kind of thing. It's material. It's quite good material, actually, as well, to be fair. Um, and yeah, I voted for this one, because it's got a bit of a Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid kind of vibe. She's clearly inspired by it, I think. Uh, I think this is an original character or whatever, and that looks a bit like Rumuru from uh, the time I was reincarnated as Slime. I haven't watched it, but I have played Grand Summoners and there was a collaboration. Anyway, this is pretty darn nice. Yo, if this comes on the t-shirt as well, I'm very, very pleased, because um, more covered up than I thought as well. Uh, again, not that I have any issues, but like... You know, the the more revealing an anime girl is on a t-shirt or ever, the less likely I am to wear it around people. You know, there's, there's always clothes you wear at home when you're having a lazy day and stuff. Ooh, right, okay. Ooh, wow, okay, there's lots of stuff. Uh, this is probably the t-shirt. Hey, look at that. That looks like the face. Okay, so it's a blue t-shirt. Interesting. I can't remember if I specified what colour I wanted. Anyway, I'm going to open this uh, open this out of the bag, and then I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm back. I'm holding my tripod, so it's going to be very shaky for a second. But this is indeed a uh, t-shirt. This is like a kind of poly polyester kind of thing. I think it's mostly polyester. I haven't tried it on yet, um, but it does... <laughs> I ordered an extra large, but then I forgot that... It's kind of an American extra large, I think. So, there's a chance this is going to be massive on me. But, eh, either way, you know, I'm happy. I really like baggy t-shirts, especially when they're this material. But the printing, yet again, is pretty darn great. It's like... It's probably one of the highest quality ones. I mean, I've bought a few knockoff ones from China and stuff. It's definitely beat them, I think, which, you know, isn't surprising. I didn't see a make, but if I did, um, I'll put it at the bottom here. Also, let you guys know how it fit. Um, generally, I'm a large, or, you know, I, I, large is a little bit baggy on me, but I generally wear a large. Extra large, I love the bagginess, though. Anyway, let's grab this box. Uh, ooh, ooh, okay. Uh, so, I feel a little pin thing coming on. Ooh, 
I don't know who that is. The Otaku Box exclusive. Not sure who that is. Um, I wanted to say he's someone from Senran Kagura, but it's not because I don't recognise her. Uh, all right, yeah, that's cool. It's it's a pin of an anime girl, not wearing too many clothes. Um, <laughs> but yeah, again, you know, I want to try give this thing a try. I'm not I'm not a massive collector of, you know, kind of like fan servicey things. But I thought, hey, you know, might as well go to my comfort zone. Ooh, yeah, this is a Sword Art Online thing, as you can see there, because there's Kirito, and it says SAO. Now, I'm not, a, like, a diehard Sword Art Online, um, comic and online games model toys. Warning. I'll pull this out in a second. Yeah, I, I like Sword Art Online. Um, I actually watched Orbital Frame, the movie, two days ago. Quite enjoyed it. I'm not one of those people that really thoroughly dislike Sword Art Online. Also though, I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm sort of midway between. Anyway, let's have a look. That is pretty darn... Oh, yo! That's cool! So, the swords kind of rotate. It's, it's not quite, like, super, super loose, but... That's not bad, actually. Because, uh, obviously, Kirito has uh, two swords in Sword Art Online. Um... Yeah, there he is there. Now, I, the only thing is, I don't fully know how official this is. But equally, you know, I, I don't mind all that much. I know some people really dislike... Um, ah, okay, yeah, I'm going to guess this isn't fully official. Because that is kind of slightly weird artwork. Um, actually, let me take a look. Okay, yeah, so I've had a look. I, I, I don't know, I'm still not fully sure. The, the best I can find is manufacturer um, is Wangzhou Animation Company Limited. Uh, also, Intention Creation Happy Peer. I assume it's meant to mean, like, made to, you know, made for people to be happy or something. But, you know, whatever, regardless, this might not be fully official or whatever, but it's a nice little pendant thing. Now, I don't wear necklaces ever. I never have. I don't see the peel in them. But that would be something kind of cool to hang. It's quite a long chain and everything. Yeah, there's a serious bit of metal there, kind of. I mean, it's not super... Uh, ooh. Ooh, we have a fidget spinner on the end. <laughs> I, I don't know exactly what that is. That's probably an emblem from the game. Is that maybe their guild or something? Well, not the Kirito's in the guild, but... Yeah, that's that's pretty darn cool. I I have the one thing I have seen is you get a lot of sword art online things. I feel two more things, so I'm gonna pull this one out first. Oh, uh, oh yo, is this back? Oh, <laughs> oh, that's awesome! I just saw the like the hand grenade, the grenade hand thing. Yo, this is Bakugo from uh, My Hero Academia. That's adorable. Now, again, I am going to go on a limb and say maybe this isn't fully official because the bag we get it in is clear uh, and there's no tags on him. However, yet again, I don't really mind. It's... Oh, that's kind of adorable. His face is a little tiny bit odd, admittedly, but I'm kind of digging it. It's very, very cute. Uh, he's got his little grenade hand things there. So these are kind of like plastic coverings, if that makes sense. Uh, he's got his little vest, little stubby legs. Yeah, just overall very cute. That's, that's nice. I'll uh, definitely be putting him with my other anime plushie collection things, which I don't have too many of, but hey, there's always a start. And the last one is a figure. Now, I do believe... There was an option or something, so for an additional cost you get the t-shirt and you get a, uh, a figure. And this, I believe, is Rias from... Oh, okay. I hope the figure's okay for you too. <laughs> um, this is Rias from... Uh, uh, no, Hunter DxD. What's it called? Um, I can't remember what the name of it is from now. I've not actually seen it, seen it but... Um, it's it's a very like fan servicey thing. Oh wait a second, hang on. Um, oh, the, there's other stuff. Hang on. Well, we'll open Rias first. I'll I'll put the name of the series at the bottom. There, it's fully escaping me. High school DXD, maybe I don't know. No, I believe. Oh, okay. I uh, I do believe this is maybe uh, kind of 
you meant to put her, uh, is this a ramen topper thing? I've seen these before, they're like, put them on top of your cup ramen, keep the lid down. Actually, she is a bit heavy, I don't think so. Anyway, let's pull her out of this packaging. Again, don't think this is official because there's no manufacturing things at all, it just says Rias. Rias is a very popular figure, lady. Uh, and there she is. That's pretty, it's pretty detailed, to be honest. Hand, I mm, actually, yeah, the hand's not too bad as well. I was going to say it's a bit bent, but I don't think it is, actually. Uh, same thing there. The hair's quite nice as well, to be honest. Yeah, not bad. Uh, certain other parts are quite well detailed as well. There's a lot of moulding going on in certain parts. Uh, yeah, overall, I think that's pretty good to be honest like you know as I said I don't think this is an official figure at all or ever for all of you foot fans out there um I, I don't you know it's not an uh, it's not an official figure but it's not a bad looking figure either I generally my like figure collection tends to focus on shonen stuff so you know things like this it is going to stick out a little bit but you know, I'm gonna go with it for go with it for another month uh, to see, and you know, hopefully I should have maybe a figure that isn't Rias. But a lot of the videos I've seen, you get a lot of Rias. Um, right, I will put her there for a second. No, I did feel other things actually. I was wrong. Uh, oh, we have a sticker. Quite a thick sticker actually. Wasn't expecting this. I don't know where she is from. I will be honest. Uh, if you know, let me know in the description below. But yeah, it's kind of like, it's a bit of a foam backing or whatever, if that makes sense. Like, there's there's layers to this. Um, it is a sticker though, I think. I'm not sure I'd put that on anything, to be honest. But hey, maybe one day, you know, I'll buy a gnarly guitar and I'll join a really cool band and I'll put this on there and then... All the fans will be like, wow, why, what's with the anime girl? Anyway, I think... Ooh, right, I'm going to have a quick look at what this is. Hey, okay, so, we actually have a rundown. So, we have a Sword Art Online necklace. Alright, so this, um, just explained, is written by the uh, curator of this box, obviously, saying that, um, yeah, just more info about uh, Kirito's dual-wielding stuff. So then we have a Sword Art Online minifigure. Um, okay. Yeah, Sword Art Online minifigure. I don't think we got that. Hang on, two seconds. Uh, right, yeah, we we didn't receive that at all. Okay, I've, I've just had like another look through the box and everything. That's odd. Maybe something else is replacing it. I don't know. Um... Ah, right, okay, so this is Raising the Shield Hero. Now, it's a series that I, I have interest, uh, so the sticker is, sorry. So, yeah, sorry, um, I just wanted her to focus. So, yeah, this um, this is a sticker of, where is her name? Philo. Um, yeah, so she's an owl or something that turns into a human. I've not seen Rising of the Shield Hero, but it is on my list. And then we have the Rias Ceremony figure. Uh, yeah, uh, sorry, <laughs> Rias Gremory figure. Uh, I am an idiot. Sorry, I read that as ceremony. Yeah, so it doesn't give a preview of the figure or whatever. Um, an interesting one. I am slightly concerned about the mini figure because I'd have I'd have quite liked that really, but whatever. Anyway, I'm gonna see what is at the bottom. All right. Um, I just like to apologise as well. Remember when I said the T-shirt and stuff is pretty cool because it reminds me of that time I got reincarnated as a slime. Well, that's because it's artwork from that time I got reincarnated as a slime. Man, I'm an idiot. Okay, so she's actually a character. As I said, I've not seen the series. I've only played Grand Summoners, which... Uh, it had three of the characters in. Obviously, she wasn't one of them. And yeah, um, so... And it's Akeno uh, Himejima, which is on the pin. That girl there. It would make sense, actually. She's dressed very similar to Rias. That's a QR code for the newsletter stuff. And next month... Yo, next month is pretty good. I'm definitely going to go vote because... It's a toss-up between Dark Magician Girl, who I would very much like something of, or Midnight from uh, My Hero Academia, which I would very much like something of. So... That's a tough one. 
honestly. Uh, I have a figma of Dark Magician Girl, so kind of leaning towards her, but Midnight, I don't know, uh, I'm, I'm quite a fan of Midnight as well. So, yeah, that uh, wraps up the Otaku box thing. So, yeah, a uh, pretty darn good box, to be honest. Downside is, it does cost uh, quite a bit. Admittedly, you do get a lot for it. However, also, these aren't official things, really. Or maybe they are, I don't know. I, I could be wrong, but I don't know, it, like... This, for example, it's it's a nice looking box and stuff, but all it says is Rias. Like, it's... Uh, there's there's nothing on it, and again, like, the t-shirt doesn't look branded. Bakugo looks awesome, but he's not branded. He doesn't have a tag or anything, and, you know, the bag he came in was plain. So, I will say, I'm, I'm slightly dubious um, about the, you know, the officialness of these items. However, I've bought loads of knockoff stuff in the past, so it's not really an issue. T-shirt is awesome, as obviously is the art print, which is the same thing. The Rias figure is really nice, actually. Honestly, like, you know, I, I've got no qualms with it. I'd happily put it in with my collection. Bakugo is lovely. Um, Sword Art Online thing is nice. Maybe I'll hang it something, somewhere. Sticker is delightful as well. I'll, I'll put her somewhere. But thank you very much for watching. Um, I'll probably be doing another one of these in a month's time. After next month, I will then decide whether I want to keep going with it or not, because this does cost around about $50 a month, um, which, which isn't as much in pounds, but, you know, still. Right, anyway, I'm out of here. I will see you next time.